In today's video, we're diving into a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a stunning furniture selling website using WordPress. So if you have a couch flipping business or you're looking to sell furniture online, having your own website is a smart move. It allows you to lead new and existing customers directly to your site, avoiding platform fees from sites like Craigslist and give your business a more professional appearance. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional e-commerce site ready to showcase and sell your furniture. First things first, you're going to need a hosting plan. And there's plenty of platforms out there to create your website, but the one that we recommend is Hostinger. Reason being is it's very affordable and it's what we use for all of our websites. Plus, we also have a special discount code below where you can get an even better price using Hostinger. So if you wanna get started with Hostinger today, go ahead and click the link down in the description, which will bring you to this page right here. So go ahead and click on the Start Now button right here, and you can go ahead and choose from Hostinger's three different plans. Now, for most of you watching this, you are going to be fine on the premium or the business plan. Now, the premium plan gets you 100 websites that you can build. You get 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, 400,000 files and directories, free pre-built templates, free automatic website migration, unlimited free SSL, free email, weekly backups, WordPress vulnerability scanner, WordPress auto updates, standard WordPress acceleration, unlimited bandwidth, free domain for the first year and more. So once you've selected which plan you want to go with, go ahead ahead and select choose plan. And here on the checkout page, you just need to choose how long of a term that you want to sign up for. The first, there's one month, 12 months, 24 months, and 48 months. Now we recommend choosing anything other than the one month. And for this example, we'll go ahead and select the 12 month option. And if we go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom, you can go to the coupon code and type in my first website, hit apply. And you're going to be able to get a year's worth of hosting for only $34.45. Now hosting are also has a 30 day money back guarantee. So if within the first 30 days, you're not happy with it, you can go ahead and get your money back. So be sure to use the link down in the description as well as coupon code my first website to save the most money when signing up for Hostinger. Now, once you are signed up with your new Hostinger account, it's going to look something like this. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and click over to domains here. And this is where you can go ahead and claim your free domain for the first year. So you can go ahead and search right here for whatever domain that you want and see if it's available. And we recommend trying to find something with a .com extension. So after that, go ahead and come back here to websites. And we're going to go to click add website. So you can either do WordPress, which we're going to do today and allows for a little bit more customization. And you can also choose from the hosting or website builder, which is an AI powered drag and drop website builder, which is a little bit more beginner friendly. But today we're going to go ahead and use WordPress. So after that, it's going to ask you if you want to create or migrate a website. And we're going to go ahead and create a website and hit next. Next, Next, it's going to ask how you want to build your website. Again, whether that's WordPress or with hosting or website builder. And for this example, we're going to go ahead and use WordPress and hit next. And then here it's just going to ask for an administrator password and go ahead and hit next. Next, it's going to ask what type of website do you want to build? An online store, blog, portfolio, business and services, affiliate marketing site, or other. And we're going to go ahead and click on online store and hit next. And then from here, you can go ahead and select from pre built websites or from themes. And we encourage you to go ahead and select the pre-built websites. These are going to get you a very professional looking website with very little effort. I sort of like this one right here. And before we select it, we can go ahead and preview it. And we can go ahead and scroll and make sure we like the way that this looks. And then one more thing that you should definitely do before continuing is checking the different aspect ratios. So this is for like iPad or tablet, and this is for mobile. So just make sure that it looks good and you like the way that it looks before continuing. So we'll go ahead and click use this template. And on this page here, we can go ahead and add plugins to your online store. So it automatically selected WooCommerce, email marketing for WooCommerce, Monster Insights, all-in-one SEO and WP forms. And this is good for now. We'll go ahead and leave those and hit next, but go ahead and add any other plugins there that you'd like. So next it's asking us if we want to get started with WordPress AI. So it's asking, do you want to generate online store content with AI? And all you have to do is enter your brand name and a little description. So let's go ahead and try this out. So for the brand name, we'll call this my furniture website. So after you go ahead and give it a description, you can go ahead and hit next here, it's going to ask you about your domain. So if you went ahead and claimed your free domain, you'll may or may not see this page here. But since we've already used our free domains, we're going to go ahead and just use temporary domain. And now it is installing WordPress. Okay, and once that is complete, we are brought to this page here. So from here to edit our website, 
website, we're gonna go ahead and click on the WordPress admin panel. And if we go ahead and click on preview website, we can go ahead and see what this looks like so far. So again, this is what the template looks like that we chose. To turn your WordPress site into an online store, you'll need an e-commerce plugin. WooCommerce is the most popular and powerful option available. So if you didn't already select that in the process that we just went through, you can go ahead and do that now. So in your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new and search for WooCommerce and click install now and then activate. Follow the setup wizard and configure your store settings. Configuring WooCommerce. During the WooCommerce setup, you'll need to configure various settings like your store details. So enter your address, which will determine shipping rates and tax calculations. Industry, go ahead and select home furniture and garden. Product types, choose the types of products you'll be selling. For furniture, physical products is typically selected. Business details, provide information about your business to get tailored recommendations. Theme, decide if you want to use the current theme or try a new one that WooCommerce suggests. Okay, next is we need to set up shipping for our furniture and we need to add shipping zones. Shipping is a crucial aspect of your online store and WooCommerce makes it easy to set up shipping zones and methods. So to do so, we're gonna go to WooCommerce where we are right now and we're gonna click on the settings and come over here to shipping. Here we can go ahead and add shipping zones based on where you plan to ship your furniture. Configure shipping methods like flat rate, free shipping or local pickup for each of these zones. So you can go ahead and add shipping zones by clicking right here. Configuring shipping methods. So what we wanna do is add shipping method within a shipping zone. And you can choose a method and configure its details. For example, set a flat rate cost for shipping. Step five, set up payments, payment gateways. So to accept payments online, you'll need to set up a payment gateway. And to do so, we'll be in the WooCommerce settings here where we still are, and we're gonna go to payments. Now here, what we wanna do is enable the payment methods that we want to offer, such as PayPal, Stripe, or direct bank transfer. And go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions to configure each payment method that you select. So all you have to do is click this enabled button right here and then hit finish setup. Adding multiple payment options. So offering multiple payment options can increase your sales. Enable additional payment gateways like Venmo or cash on delivery. You wanna make sure that each gateway is properly configured and tested before going live. Step six, add your furniture products. Now it's time to add your furniture products to your online store. To add products, we're gonna come over here to the products on the left-hand side, and we're going to add a new product. So we can go ahead and click add new. And here we can go ahead and enter the product title, description, and add any high quality images that we have. This is also where you'll set the product price, the SKU, and manage stock levels using product categories and tags. So what you wanna do is you want to organize your products by categories and tags to help customers find what they're looking for. You can add categories such as living room furniture, bedroom furniture, stuff like that. And use tags for specific attributes like wood, modern, or vintage. Configuring product variations. So if you offer products in different variations, like different colors or different sizes, in the product data section, select variable product. So right here, you'd go ahead and click here and select variable product for instances like that. And then you can come down here to add attributes and variations, and then set prices and stock levels for each variation. Step seven, create essential pages. Designing your home page. So your homepage is the first thing that visitors see, so make it engaging. So what we're gonna do is come over here to pages and we're gonna come to this homepage here and click edit. So what you can do here, you can go ahead and just click on anything here and change what you want this to say. And if you go ahead and select anything, you can go ahead and add different formatting changes to it. We also have the general area over here, the style area and the advanced area for advanced customization. Now we can also change this background image here because again, this is from a plant store template, but we're selling furniture. So what you can go ahead and do is click the background here, come over here to style and hit change image. And here you can upload any image that you'd like for your home page here. Or you could also come over here to free images and start searching for something. And maybe we'll go with this. And since we can't really see that very well, let's come over here to style. And that is just a quick little tutorial on how you can start to edit your home page. Let's go ahead and click update. Next, we want to create an about page. So let's go ahead and come back here. And here we have an about page right here. So we can go ahead and click on that to edit this about page. Now about page helps build trust with your customers. So we can create a new page and share our brand story, our mission, as well as share things about our team. Here we wanna include images and videos to make it more personal and more engaging. So this template already has a pretty good start right here. And you can go ahead and come in here and just customize this to fit you and your team's needs. Step nine, launch and promote your store. Testing your website before going live. So before going 
live thoroughly test your website. You want to check all links, forms, and payment processes. Ensure that your site looks good on mobile devices as well. Promoting your store. Now, once everything is set, it's time to promote your store. Share your website on social media platforms. Use email marketing to reach out to potential customers. Consider running online ads to drive traffic. Leveraging customer reviews. Customer reviews can significantly impact sales. Encourage satisfied customers to leave reviews. Display these reviews prominently on your product pages. So there you have it. You've now built a professional furniture selling website using WordPress and Hostinger. Remember, building a successful online store takes time and effort. So keep updating your site with new products and engaging content. So that's everything that you need to know about how to start a furniture selling website. Again, we'll leave a link down below to Hostinger where you guys can get started for less than $3 per month. Just make sure to use code MYFIRSTWEBSITE for an even greater discount. And remember, these are affiliate links, so this does help out the channel at no extra cost to you. In fact, you're going to get a discount by using these codes and links. Don't forget to give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for more tips and tutorials on web development and design. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.